Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will let you know how to combine two different plots of highly different scales in origin. For example, consider this plot whose x-axis varies from 0 to 4 and the y-axis has maximum of 3. Now we have another plot with the same value on x-axis as before but on y-axis it has a maximum value of 40 which is very large in comparison to 3 of the previous plot. If we combine these two plots through the techniques of multiple data files plotting we get a figure like this. This figure is a little problematic as the variation in the blue curve with its maximum equal to 3 are not easily readable. On the other hand, we want them to be like this. That is, each plot has its own scale and the variation for each plot are easily readable. For this to understand, let us move to origin. So here we are on the origin. I have to import the data for the first plot and uh, I have saved it with plot 1 at this position. If I double click it, it, the data will be added here at this position. If I click on the corner and then click in the right button, I come to this menu and I choose line plot from this position and we see the line plot is uh, produced. Now, uh, I have to play a little with this thing. I just want to uh, adjust the scale and I want to plot this from 1 and I keep the increment to 0.4 and this I would like to keep it 3.1 and this I would like to start from 0 with increment 1 and this I would like to keep to 4. I apply this then I want to change these thickness of the curve from 0.5 to 3 so that it is visible. Okay, I'm done with this plot. Now I want to open up another matrix, book 1, and I want to import the data for the second plot, which is this one. I double click this plot and the data is added to the second notebook. I again click the right button and then to the line plot and the second line plot is generated. Now at this position you have to pay a little attention. I click double click this and to reach over here. From here again I take this to 0 and this one to point 0.4 and this one to 1. That's done. But what I do, I click on the Titan Format tab and I want to deactivate or uncheck the uh, arrow and uncheck this plot for the bottom axis of the second plot. So if I uncheck this, the bottom uh, plot will be removed. But I want to activate the right one uh, axis for this plot. So I have to check on this. And then from none to I want to give a tick at the outside. And I would also like to activate the minor axis and then I come to uh, minor labels so it is level show major so that it show the level and now let's come back to uh, Titan format uh, and I want to click on this and everything is deactivated for it so I would like to uh, uncheck the major labels for the bottom axis as well. So I uncheck this and similarly I would like to uncheck this one. If it is checked, I have to check this. It is checked so I want to uncheck this one as well. Now if I apply my choices I have chosen, I have one axis at the left and one, one I have one axis at the right and one axis at the left and I want to remove this left one. Uh, plot. So, uh, if I come to Titan format one more, 
this one is checked so I just need to uncheck this one and if I apply it now this X is also disappear but here I want to add uh, minor text as well so for that I once again come over here and uh, activate show math this one uh, enable minor labels as well so if I add that I'll get a minor label yes I get that over here I'm done with this thing and now I want oh one thing more I just want to click this again and I want to change the color of this from black to red so it is it will be now red yes the scale and the graduation is now in red and then I click the curl and I change the thickness of the curl from 0.5 to 3 and also I want to change the color of the curl to red and I apply this as well. Now I have to select this whole figure by clicking somewhere inside this position you see the whole frame is selected. I copy this by pressing ctrl C on my keyboard then come to this figure and uh, and enlarge the windows and then pressing ctrl v to pass what i have selected i again click in the area in between over here and pressing the uh, left button on your mouse and drag the figure to this one figure like i am doing over here and i adjust the frame of the drag figure right over the original figure and then and then i leave the button so the two figures are now past it over here but if I look at this I can change this scale and can add an X over here by just clicking over this thing double click so I come over here to tighten the format uh, sorry to the grid line and at the grid line I select vertical and then apply this and that is Added. now the whole figure is in boxed I can change this this scale as well and can change this for example I put over here X and over here I write whatever the function may be but I already said F of X I can drag the this over here by just clicking on it selecting this drag this one and then i drag the other one and i pass this over here at this position so i have adjusted it and i change the name of the first one from a and this one from b so this way you can uh, plot or overlay one plot over another now the left uh, now the left scale uh, along y axis uh, gives the values of the black curve and the scale on the right along the vertical gives the values of the uh, red curve so this way you can overlay two figures on each other with two different scale each one is graduated with its own value and we can obviously read the variation of the scale with smaller values along y-axis and of the scale with larger value along x-axis